My forest just wouldn't be the same without the birds. Their soothing chorus will bring more tranquility to a troubled mind than any product a pharmacy has to offer. While some folks reach for a sedative to calm their nerves, nature itself is the only prescription I need. to shed again back to work on some birdhouses and nesting shelves uh, we still got a lot of snow on the ground but spring is in the air there's a lot of geese flying over I'm starting to hear some of the summer birds that have arrived already uh, the red wings are here now probably won't be long and the bluebirds will follow so uh, on my last video part one of the series I built this uh, bluebird style house so if you missed that part uh, go ahead and watch that video, um, which was titled uh, Homestead Projects, Caring for the Flock. And I show you how to build this little bluebird style house. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple different designs of the nesting shelves that I make. Now you can put these together really easy. I just use scraps. Uh, very, very high success rate with the Robins and the Phoebes with these here. Uh, the little Phoebes are always trying to nest above my windows, you know, and then they poop all over the window. But when I give them one of these someplace, uh, I put this where I want them to nest, and they always nest in it. And I uh, have a really high success rate with it. So, uh, like, especially with these here, I really like to have these facing the house. And you can see what's going on with the robins feeding the babies and stuff, which is pretty neat. Now, these here are very easy to put together. Uh, this is just a piece of one by six with a 15 degree angle cut on it here. Uh, this is a piece of one by eight. It's got a 15 degree bevel here. This is another piece of one by eight with a 15 degree bevel here that matches the slope here. But aside from that, very simple. The floor is a piece of one by four, but generally I use the same one by six. I rip the four inch and then I put the remainder of it here. Uh, it offers just a nice little lip that uh, kind of keeps the uh, nest in there. Uh, it's not really necessary to have that in there, but I like the way it looks. So that's a very easy thing to put up. And I just put screws right through here and uh, screw it to the side of a building. Now these here, generally I just use a one by 10 and I'll cut it about nine inches tall to the peak. The sides here are uh, about four and a half to the long point and that's cut with a 45 degree and then on the roof boards I overlap them here like this instead of doing a plumb cut it's just easier it has a nice nailing surface to go right through this board and into that one especially for a novice so it's very very easy you take your piece of one by ten cut it about nine inches long come up four and a half inches or so 45 degree and 45 degree and then uh, the sides, everything's very, very simple to make. And the robins really, really like these nesting shelves, I'll tell you. Uh, hatched out a lot of broods here on the homestead. I've got uh, some of these hanging uh, off the fur shed, off the house, off the barn, uh, on trees. And I have a lot of robins that uh, build nests in them, which is pretty good, pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and make one of these little Phoebe shelves here and I'm going to use full one inch lumber for this, some rough cut, which is uh, I'm going to use uh, some one by eights and some one by sixes and, uh, and some one by fours. So I'll go ahead and uh, put this one together and walk you through the process. And then if you're using lumber that is of, of different dimension, like finished lumber that wouldn't be a uh, full one inch, you just have to uh, accommodate that and change your measurements just a little bit. <laughs> go ahead and set my saw right at 15 degrees right there now if you don't have a chop saw and you're cutting the boards by hand with a hand saw or with a skill saw I'll show you how to mark that 15 degrees real easy you'll just set your speed square right on here I go right up to the edge there and then I'm gonna pivot it until right here this bottom uh, section with the marks which says degrees I'm gonna line 15 degrees up 
right with the edge of the board while keeping that pivot point tight. You want to keep that pivot point right tight to the board. So you're keeping that tight. Swing this until 15 degrees lines up with the edge of the board. Once you have that, you mark it. And then once you have it marked, you can go ahead and cut that out with a skill saw or a hand saw or whatever you might have. On these speed squares, right at the bottom, you see it says degrees. Up here, these are rafter cuts. These aren't going to come into play with building a birdhouse. But right on the bottom, it says degrees. So all you do is you keep that tight to the board, pivot that until your degrees lines up with the edge of the board. Okay. You get that cut at 15 degrees. I'm just going to turn the board over and cut this end at 15 degrees. And I'll just measure down my eight and a half, my eight and a half, and cut both of these square. Eight and a half from the long point, and eight and a half from the long point. Set this back to zero, which is a 90 degree cut. two sides to the nesting shelf right there. Now the back is a piece of one by eight measured eight and a half inches from the square edge to the long point right there and that's a 15 degree cut on the end right there. So we have one piece of one by eight, two pieces of one by sixes that is cut square to the long point here of 15 degrees but that's a square cut there, okay? And we're just gonna nail those on to the sides, just like that, and move on to the bottom. Take that, put the side on there, flush with the top, flush with the back. Now that the two sides are nailed on to the back, flush with the 15 degree cut on the back. Go ahead and place that in there. Flush it up at the bottom. All right, now I just cut this front oh, inch and three quarter. You can make it really whatever dimension you want. You nail down to the front. Now we just need a little roof. So there I got a piece of one by eight, cut 11 and a half inches long. It's got a 15 degree angle there. That way it will flush up with the back of the birdhouse there. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep a little bit of an overhang. Oh, try and match it up right like that there and go ahead and shoot the roof on. Okay, I'm gonna flush it up at the back. About an equal overhang on each side. Okay. Nice little nesting shelf right there. Big enough for the robins to use, but small enough for the Phoebes will like it. That'll be a nice little addition to the side of the fur shed here. Here we go, a birdhouse on the bird's house. Well, this one's facing east, and uh, I have my best results with the boxes that face east to southeast. So this one faces east. Probably get some Phoebes or Robins nesting in this one. These are just a really basic design. Um, I made these. Now, these are the larger ones that I made. Uh, the Robins and the Phoebes, they just love them. Uh, there's probably, oh, there's some nesting material. There's an old nest right there. Yeah, old part of a Phoebe nest in that one. Yeah, and they really like those. Now, normally I can't reach these things, but I'm standing on about three feet of snow right here. So, you can see the robin's nest in that one there.
Pretty cool, huh? Ain't that cool how they do that? That's built like mud in there. It almost feels like one of those uh, peat moss cups you use in the garden. That's just a nice, perfect circle. I mean, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Now, isn't that neat, though? Huh? They make like a perfect circle. That's just a cool nest. I don't know. A lot of people don't see any anything amazing about it, but I do. And it thrills me that this little box that I made helped them uh, raise a family. And they did it successfully, you know. Uh, so far I've had quite a few different occasions that the robins have nested in these boxes. And the one hanging off the fur shed always has Phoebe's in it. But that's just a cool nest right there. I'm going to... I'm going to keep that one, I think, or something. But, boy, that is just hard as rock in there. It's just like it feels like one of those peat cups. It's too bad it's got a hole in the bottom. But, I don't know, I'll put that in a planter or something. That's just kind of cool. 